Lucas? Uh, yes. First Why are you doing this? <laughs> please stop. Oh, it's God. Please stop. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to finish their iron brew first? No, just... <laughs> uh, question... Adam. Yeah, yeah. Question from Kirk. Uh, he's just asking, which tartans are you gents wearing today? Sure. Fun, funny you mentioned that. We had a couple of people asking us to try and do that mm -hmm. on a regular basis. We will try to remember to do that. Um, at the very least, when we do liner notes for these things later on in the future, we'll try and make sure that it's there as a liner note for you guys, uh, or as a comment, so you have it as a, as a record. Um, and the full episodes, not necessarily the cut-up yeah, bits. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, go um, ahead, you got the actual tartan today. I'm wearing the Law Enforcement Officer's Memorial Tartan. Um, it's one that I designed with a, uh, a retired officer named uh, Tim Welch. Um, real nice guy, and we give a... Uh, percentage of this, I think 10% of this, to uh, COPS, which is Concerns of Police Survivors, which is a, a pretty cool charity. Um, they actually uh, support uh, officers who have fallen in the line of duty. They support their families you know, after an officer has died. So it's a really cool charity to, to you know to give to. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the rationale behind the law enforcement tartan. You want to talk about the, the stripes? Was, sure. there, was there a formula for when you guys did <clears throat> the... Yeah, the... Uh, the the gold and the silver in their golden gray in the in the tartan represent the uh, the badges that they wear. There's a black section there, um, what, which represents the mourning bands that cross the badges when somebody dies. Um, there's 72 threads in the two black sections here, which represents the 72 officers that died on 9/11. Um, and then there's a bit of green in there for the Irish that are so strong in the law enforcement community, and then blue obviously for the officers. You know towing the thin blue line, effectively. There you go. Cool. Cops just opened up a new uh, headquarters, actually, this yeah. year. Yep. Yeah, back on uh, when we talked about uh, <clears throat> this tartan back around the beginning of July, I got to throw that in as a mention. I was like, hey, they got a new headquarters. They finally cut, cut the ribbon on that, yep. so that's cool. We bought one of the, uh, we did, they had a, uh, a, a charity thing. Like where a you fundraiser? Could, yeah, or, fundraiser, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so we ended up buying a brick in the building, so our logo is on a, a square somewhere in the building. Cool. They sent me a picture of it. It looks pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, as for me, this is basically a tweed kilt, except the secret is it's not actually a tweed fabric. It is a tweed pattern, but uh, this is actually, this is, you tell me, because this is one of the ones I got from you originally. I have no idea what the name is. It's, yeah. it's no, a house. Where did it come from? It came from House, house of Edgar. Right? Yeah, yeah, House of Edgar produced this cloth. Yeah. It's the same kind of fabric um, and yarns that their wool kilts are made of, right. um, or that the tartan kilts are made of, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just... They make they made a a fashion range, if you will, of about ten that were effectively look like tweeds. Yeah, and the reason for that being that it's a bit it's a bit harder wearing than uh, than a, a tweed. It's yeah. not soft. It's definitely got that that stiffness and that tight weave that you're used to for most kilting fabrics. So um, I've had this for years now, <coughs> and I really like it, especially this time of year. It's great for fall. It's kind of just you know I feel like I'm ready to go out to the country estate and. <laughs> You know, go hunting grouse or something. Survey the lands. Yes, yes, yes. and then kill, kill some small wild animals. Exactly. Yeah. The uh, uh, the thing about tweed uh, kind of has a little bit of a tangent. Um, tweed makes great outerwear, and it also, but it depends on the mill and the actual weave. Um, there are sp there are specific tweeds that we get that are more designed for outerwear, harder wearing that would make yep. up nicely into a kilt. And then there's other ones that are a little bit spongier, a little bit looser weave to them um, that'll make up nice for a vest or a, uh, a sport jacket kind of thing. Right. But I wouldn't really wear it as a kilt or something that's going to take a lot of abrasion, yeah. if you will. Yeah. 